Lala's Fairyland. I am a fairy bluebill and I am six years old. How to describe Lala? There isn't just one word to describe Lala. She is brave, she is funny, she lights up anybody she meets. What? <laughs> Lyle has always been kind and giving and just absolutely enjoys making someone else smile, especially when they're sad. She was sick at two, but wasn't diagnosed until three. She was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. What that means is instead of her bone marrow making blood, it was making cancer cells. It wasn't picked up until she basically passed out. I was taking her back to the doctors weekly for nine months got to the point where she didn't have the strength to just keep going. Because I'm her mum, I knew I knew there was something not right. She's had intravenous chemotherapies, pig asparaginase, lumbar punches, where they put methotrexate in the actual spine sac itself. She's had oral chemotherapies, three different types of tablets, and steroids. The lowest part of her journey would have to be the first year of starting the chemotherapies. Trying to explain to a three-year-old, I'm doing this to help you. That was probably the hardest, as well as being on steroids for so long. She didn't want me in the room. She didn't want me out of the room. She didn't want me to speak to her. She didn't want me not to speak to her. I'm not sure how she really coped with it mentally. I think because I'm so independent, I feel that she got a bit of that from me. She has dealt with it best she can with a smile on her face. Every night, having a cuddle until she's gone to sleep with me. Hugs with mum. <laughs> start with a lot of the children didn't want to look at her didn't want to know her and she knew how that felt she would sit with other children you know I've done that and I didn't like that either but it's okay so she'd go up to them hi my name's Lila she'd sit next to them start drawing until they felt comfortable just to speak to her I think I got a pamphlet in a package and because everything was so hectic I just didn't think of it and then later on a nurse handed me another pamphlet and she said because Lyle's gone through everything she's gone through here have a look through this. Uh, to start with I was a little emotional because I think it really hit home that my daughter was so ill. Put it off for a little bit but then I looked back at it and I said okay let's do this so I went through it and handed it in and not long after that I ended up getting contacted. I love fairies because they can fly and butterflies because they're pretty. We met the wish force at the park I eventually asked her what would she like and to fly with real wings and then runs off again. My wish was to fly like a fairy. And I can fly and I really wanted to fly. I usually watch movies about it and I look at books about it. Normally in movies, fairies can fly on Earth. And I believe that comes from being stuck in hospital and at home and not allowed to socialise. Flying is free, it's freeing. And she sees these fairies in movies and she sees them flying. To start with, Boss Queen Fairy has given Lila little letters and ways of being kind. Like to start with, you must grow a fairy heart with kindness, with love, with courage. Well, I am looking forward to teaching you all the fairy ways at fairy school and to teach you how to fly. And you know what? Being a fairy is not just about flying and having wings. You have to start from the inside out. So in the new year, we'll start our lessons. Those are things that Lila has tried. Say a child at school hurt themselves. She made sure that they were all right. She's just put all of that kindness and love and courage into everyday practice. To be a fairy, you have to be kind. At school, I was picking up litter. I've been teaching my friends how to have a kind heart. She's been looking forward to this wish for months. She's been getting videos, she's been having tele calls. Just built it up for her to the point where she would tell anyone and everyone, I'm getting a special wish and I get to fly. And just absolutely the pure joy that you could see on her face after so much, honestly made my heart flutter. When I arrived, I felt a little bit scared and a little bit excited. I loved meeting Boss Queen Fairy. could hardly believe it when I saw Boss Queen Fairy. I went on the trapeze and I went on the map. Fairy Aidy and Fairy Jen helped me get on, on the trapeze. They slid with me on 
hopped the slippery mat and they swung with me and they also hopped the naked canoe with me. I can touch the sky! It was cool when I was on the trapeze. I actually got to fly. Because of everything she's gone through, it has helped her to be so outgoing and just wanting to jump in and try everything. You can fly with a kind of heart. It felt like that I could fly on Earth. Well, my face is really sore. It's the most smiling I've done in two years, I would say. I got a dress from the Boss Point Ferry and I got a big wand, a really tall wand. I was given lots of gifts. This has got my name on it. I call him Drago and he's a unicorn dragon. And I like his rainbow hair, but it's all soggy. Sometimes he um, gets out of bed. He goes to the land room and watch TV. And I'm like, what, who's that? One of my favorite parts of today was all of it. Seeing her smile and seeing her laugh and seeing her have so much fun. I was really proud of myself. Because of the Make-A-Wish, and the wish force, seeing Lila enjoy every day, enjoy every day she talks about her wish, enjoy every day that I'm a fairy, just absolutely everything. That has put basically the magic back into my life as well as it has hers. And that is something that I believe she'll carry through her whole entire life. I hope today was everything you dreamed and wished for. It was. I'd like to thank everybody that has helped me Lila's day special because without each and every person that has been there and that has done everything leading up to the wish and after her wish has been absolutely amazing and there is no way I could thank everybody that has made her day special and put the magic back into her life. Today was so much fun! Fairies in the sky and now so am I. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>